When it comes to a presidential re-election bid, many vice presidents have been tasked with the job of a tack dog out on the campaign trail, going after the other side, and this time's no different. Here's the question. Is Vice President Joe Biden a net gain or a net loss on the Obama ticket? Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry takes a closer look. Vice President Joe Biden knows more than anyone his candor cuts both ways. No one's ever doubted I mean what I say. The problem is I sometimes say all that I mean. And, uh... <laughs> that came just two days after Biden's most high-profile gaffe as vice president, backing President Obama in a corner and taking the White House off message by all but endorsing same-sex marriage. Days, if not weeks, before the boss was planning to do so anyway. We're moving forward to a country where every American is treated with dignity and respect and equality. Top Democrats say all Biden was guilty of was telling the truth, and honesty resonates with voters. I think he's been a terrific asset. You know, he's not perfect, right? He's not a perfect candidate. Uh, he makes some mistakes here and there, uh, but, you know, that that's part of what, that's part of Joe Biden's charm, frankly, is that he's a normal guy. There are questions about whether that asset has become a liability. Every day that the vice president is out on the campaign Trail is a good day for us at the Republican National Committee. The latest Fox News poll shows the percentage of Americans with a favorable view of the vice president has dropped 18 points in three years to just 41 percent, while his unfavorability has shot up 16 points to 44 percent. More worrisome, a new USA Today Gallup poll shows in 12 key swing states like Ohio, where Biden is being deployed because of his blue collar roots. 54% of voters view him unfavorably, only 40% favorably. His uh, ability to connect with these voters is not what they hoped it would be. Sparking inevitable chatter, perhaps Biden slip-ups have worn thin. <laughs> and it could be time to shake up the ticket by replacing Biden with Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Although top Democrats say that's nonsense. The president genuinely likes his veep, and dumping him in a tight race would look desperate. This election, again, is all about the economy, and any time you throw the number two guy over overboard, it uh, raises questions about, uh, gee, do they have their act together? Is there turmoil? There'd be a lot of backbiting. This is just not going to happen. Besides, Democrats say Biden fires up the base and raises lots of money, including today in Virginia and North Carolina, while also serving as lead attack dog on presumptive Republican nominee Mitt Romney's record, although even that does not always go according to script. That no more qualifies you to be president than being a plumber. It doesn't, and by the way, there are a lot of awful smart plumbers. Now, that may have sounded offensive to plumbers, but the head of the top plumbers union told Fox that he believes the vice president is putting his guys back to work. And a top Obama campaign official told me the vice president is getting big crowds, and they think his message of beating up on the governor is, is pushing through, and it's, it's breaking out through right now, Brett. Ed Henry, live on the North Lawn. Ed, thank you. Ed, uh, one quick question. Late word tonight of a top GSA official stepping down, just getting this. Uh, Congress still planning to go on with this investigation of the GSA. What can you tell us? That's right. Jeff Neely, he ran the western region for the General Services Administration. Now infamous because you'll remember that over-the-top photo of him in a tub with those adult beverages. That was at that Las Vegas conference. He had told officials in some of those emails, let's make it over the top. He got that and then some $822,000. He's now resigned today. And Daryl Issa, one of the Republicans who's been investigating this said, look, he lost his ability to lead, but they on Capitol Hill are going to keep investigating. They're going to investigate what they call a culture of waste at the GSA. And I can tell you, there's nobody at the White House shedding any tears. They're pushing back on charges that there's been reckless spending in the Obama days. This guy was the poster child for some of that. They're glad to see him go, Brett. That infamous tub shot. Ed, thank you. Thank you. It's day two.